What's up, everybody, and welcome back to this week's Terror Tuesday. Oh, with the effects that I like to do. Terror Tuesday. <laughs> um, we're reacting to some more Backrooms videos. We've got about five videos to get through, and we're all caught up then. I think this is really cool to do. I'm really enjoying it, and I'm really interested in figuring out what the crack is with this Backroom stuff. Um, I've got some theories, some kind of... I don't know, like, uh, hypotheses. Hypotheses. I don't want to see if they're true. But before we get started, question of the day comes from V31, I think it is. It says, question, would you be able to do the new Evil Dead game sometime in the future? I was able to see it on another channel, but I don't know if you'd like it. I don't know. Maybe we will. This is Terror Tuesday. The Evil Dead game is probably perfect for today. Um, there's a few horror games I actually want to play. There's a few horror games that are on my um, radar. The biggest one at the moment being Doom Eternal that I kind of want to play. But time will tell. Time will tell. Um, I'm excited doing these uh, backroom stuff. We've got five videos left. Um, and then there's two other big ones. But three of them are relatively short. So we're going to watch all three of ones that i want let me in fact let me just pull this up and let me show you real quick um there's three here backrooms prototype motion detection and autopsy report i want to watch these three because it's like two minutes four minutes one minute um and then the other ones because they're a little bit bigger we'll save them for future videos okay but we are you know we're we're already getting into it now and uh the the videos are getting a little bit more intriguing and showing a little bit more of the stuff in the background. So I'm interested to see what happens. So with that being said... Oh, if you haven't already, if you haven't already, I started a new channel. I started a new channel. Link down below to The Sword and Scabbard. I'm very excited about this. It's a new passion project of mine uh, about fantasy stuff. It's basically like this channel, but the theme is strictly fantasy. Um, that thing, that's like Warhammer Fantasy, Star Wars, Lord of the Rings, Game of Thrones, Harry Potter, anything fantasy. It's going to be on that channel. I'm very, very excited. Again, it's like a passion project of mine. So there's a link down below. Go and check it out. The Sword and Scabbard. Anyway, other than that, and of course, there'll be a link down below to the OG videos. So uh, let's crack on with it, shall we? John D. Autopsy. Like the legendary John D. Subject is male, um, somewhere between 18 and 21 years old. I estimate that the time of death was around five days ago, but due to the severe tissue damage, it's, it's hard to say for sure. Okay. Is this supposed to be the person we saw in the last video? The cause of death was likely malnutrition. I was able to recover most Ooh. of the digestive tract. So, things start to deviate from what we would consider to be natural. The decomposition process appears to have been stunted somehow. It, it's like, it's like portions of the body stopped decaying and and were sustained okay other areas however were completely overtaken by culture so uh i took uh samples of some of the material it seems like we're having some sort of um time thing going on because time would change the decomposition of the body right so it's looking like we've got like some sort of time thing going on First, I, I thought it was a, an aggregated collection of pseudomenus fluorescence, but uh, it seems to be closer to a mutated strain of simple A. bacillus, which it should be completely benign, but, well, really, I, I, I don't know what to make of this. Again, I'm getting big Stranger Things from this. Mr. Beck, may I ask uh, where this subject came from? Yeah, it's not going to say. From the back rooms! We're not going to tell you. God, this is good. Oh, 
O oh, dziś. O oh, dziś. Well, isn't this really creepy? <laughs> okay, video number one done. Let me uh, move over to the next one. Uh, the next one is the longest of the three, four minutes long, motion detected. Again, my theory right now is that we're having some sort of um, time anomaly going on. 1990, March 5th. Oh, so they're moving stuff in. The building in there. They're really starting to make it like a fob in the area. I wonder if the room that the guy saw in the video from last week is the one that they're building here. And there's some sort of like time warp thing. Do you know what I mean? That'd be really weird. Interesting, okay. So they're setting up cameras. basically trying to corner anything that might move through there okay all equipment god these videos are so good the person who's making this is so good they really are Is this something flying across the screen or is that supposed to be part of the film? Interesting. The following is complication of all detected motion alerts received during the night of Monday, March 5th. So all the motion detected. 7.39 at 43 seconds. It's their own people walking. Okay. I'm presuming they knew that that was going to happen. Happen. 826.43. Returned researchers. Okay. 902. Motion detected. Supervisor passes camera 6. Nine fourteen oh four. Threshold barrier closed. Interesting. One oh six forty four TBD. That's going to be that weird monster thing, right? 213.35. Microphone failure. Hmm. What is going on here? I'm getting stranger. It's, it's like the upside down, isn't it? It's like the upside down. 353.42. Motion detected. It didn't tell us what it was. Oh, there we go! It's got to be that monster, hasn't it? Is it not going to zoom in? It's something, isn't it? What is it? It's got to be that weird. Image upscale and enhanced. Not by much, but I get it. It's a giant squid. What is it? Okay. That's it. That's it. That one was really good. Again, fantastic. And the last one is Backroom's prototype. So before we get into that, let me kind of give my theories. I think it's some sort of like Stranger Things going on where it's like an alternate dimension. I mean, we kind of already grasped that, right? But I think in there... 
there's some sort of time warp or time manipulation where things are changing constantly. Um, in fact, the, there's a date. Let me pull this up real quick. There's a date on this prototypes one, and it's 5-10-1982. So this one's older. This one's older. Let's see. Interesting. Kind of like a trailer, isn't it? Courtesy of Oak Ridge National Laboratory. Conducted on May 10th, 1982 under supervision of Philip R. Someone. Is this how it was formed? What a great story this person's saying with a lot of what is doing with a lot of mystery and stuff. This is a this is fan, this the guy's doing fantastic, isn't it? It really is. Is it like one you really young lad that's making these videos or something? Which, if that's the case, well done. Okay. Oh! Boom! Back room's created. No? Okay. Interesting. It's definitely some sort of weird interdimensional time thing that's going on, isn't it? It's very strange, but it's pretty damn cool. That's it! So we've got two other videos that we're going to react to in the next uh, horror reaction. We've got Pitfall, which is a 14-minute video, so it's a big one. And then we've got Report, which is a 6 minute 20 video. So we've got some bigger ones coming up. I still have so many questions. I st There's still so much I don't know. I'm still so interested in. But my god, this person's doing fantastic, isn't it? It's got to be some sort of weird interdimensional time thing that's going on. Um, it just reminds me of like the agency from Stranger Things that, are, that were probing into the Upside Down and going in and doing experiments and stuff. That's the vibe I'm getting from it. But from this, I feel like there's more going on with how it was formed, especially that prototype thing. I'm, I think there's something going on about like how they figured out where the back rooms was or how, if they created it or something. God, I wonder if there's a video explaining this stuff. Maybe we should react to that as well. <laughs> What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section down below and uh, give me your theories on what it is because I want to discuss with you guys. I really do. I really do. And if you haven't already, go and check out my new channel down below, The Sword and Scabbard, which is going to be all things fantasy related. I am super, 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 super excited about it. And if you haven't already, go and check out Original Adventures, my other, other channel. Link down below because we did a full bus tour over there, which is a ton of fun. So definitely check that out, guys, okay? Members, you're beautiful, you're amazing. I love you. I couldn't do this without you. I honestly couldn't make videos every single day or not really every single day anymore, but a lot, a lot of videos if it wasn't for these people scrolling past your screen right now. Look at them beautiful people. They're amazing. Members, I love you. I genuinely do. You're amazing. Uh, links down below on some of my socials, let down below on some of my socials, including links to the OG videos. Go and check them out, give them a like, and give Kane Pixels a subscribe because he definitely deserves it. Until next time, guys, I love you all. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.